Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 Applied Paper. Here we're on question 6, the first of the mechanics questions for this paper. At time t equals 0, a parachutist falls vertically from rest from a helicopter which is hovering at a height of a, um, 550 metres above horizontal ground. The parachutist, who is modelled as a particle, falls for 3 seconds before her parachute opens. While she is falling and before her parachute opens, she is modelled as a free, falling freely under gravity. The acceleration due to gravity is modelled as being 10 metres per second squared. Using this model, find the speed of the parachutist at the instant her parachute opens. So this is going to be um, for 3 seconds before her parachute opens and... Um, she is falling at uh, 10 meters per second squared. So that's going to be um, speed equals um, acceleration times time because the initial speed uh, is equal to zero. We're effectively using the SUVAT formula V equals U plus AT here, where U is equal to zero. So the final speed in this section is going to be the acceleration, which is 10 meters per second times three, which is 30 meters per second so um, when her parachute opens it's going to be she's going to be traveling at 30 meters per second moving on to the second part when her parachute is open the parachutist continues to fall vertically immediately after her parachute opens she decelerates at 12 meters per second squared for two seconds before reaching a constant speed and she reaches the ground at this speed the total time taken by the parachute is to fall 550 meters from the helicopter to the ground is t seconds. Sketch a speed time graph for the motion between 0 to t. Okay, so we'll have speed on the vertical axis, time on the horizontal axis. Let's make sure we put those in and put the units on them. Let's just do the basics right. Okay, so the first thing that happened was the parachutist fell out of the plane and accelerated at a rate of um, 10 uh, just by gravity, up to a speed of 30 meters per second. Then the parachute came out and for two seconds, the parachutist decelerated um, at 12 meters per second squared. So that's by, uh, so if it's 2 and 12, that's 24 a decrease by, so it's going to be down to 6 and then it's going to be a constant uh, value of 6 down to uh, the total time, which is t. So this first bit happened for 3 seconds, the second bit happened for 2 seconds, so that's up to 5 seconds, and the next bit will be up to t. Now the total of this is going to be 550 metres. So part c is find to the nearest whole number the value of t. So it's going to be the area underneath the curve, it's going to be equal 550. In the left-hand triangle, that's going to be base of 3, height of 30. So that's going to be 30 times 3 divided by 2. Um, that'll be the first calculation. The next bit's going to be a trapezium. So that's going to have an average um, height of um, 30 plus 6 divided by 2. That's the average heights on these um, lines here on parallel sides there and a height of 2 so we'll times that by 2 and then it's going to be plus this value here so that's going to be t minus 5 in fact no I won't work it out like that I'll just put x here for now so it's going to be x times a height of 6 so 6x and that's going to equal 550 so let's work out this first bit 30 times 3 30 times 3 divided by 2 whoops divided by 30 times 3 divided by 2 is 45. The next bit is going to be 36 divided by 2 and then times 2, so that's 36. Plus 6x equals 550. So therefore, when we move those two numbers onto the other side, 550 minus 45 minus 36, that will give us an answer of 469. And then divide by 6... That's going to give us an answer of 78.17. So therefore now we need to add the 5 on to get the t value. So add 5 and that will give us 
499 over 6, or in other words, 83.17 to two decimal places. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer for part C. In a refinement of the model, uh, of the motion of the parachute is the effect of air resistance is included before her parachute opens uh, and the and this refined model is now used to find a new value of t. So the question here is how would this new value of t compared with the value of t found before uh, in your model to part c? Uh, well the new value of t would be bigger um, because it would take less time, so it take more time to reach this uh, speed of 30, or in fact uh, it might even be uh, the speed lower than 30, so it would actually uh, increase the value of t because um, it would um, slow down or slow down the speed that the parachutist would initially drop out of the plane at. So it's going to increase the value of t. Suggest one further refinement of the model other than air resistance. Well, you could have the effect of wind, you could have the dimension of the parachute, you could have the ac more accurate measurement of G, etc. etc. So, so, another further improvement on the model um, maybe the surface area of the parachutist, um, maybe they're a, a, they're a skinny person or a bigger person. However, you politically want, correctly want to say that. Um, so, yeah, any of those variables that could be included. So, there we are. That's the answer for question six, worth uh, 10 marks in total there. Let's now move on to question seven.